Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to our Can I Fly My Drone series. This week, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone over people? So let's get started. You've probably heard lots of discussion and arguing viewpoints about whether or not you can fly over people in the United States. So let's get into the details and facts about what you can and can't do when it comes to flying over people. First, let's start with part 107.39 titled Operation Over Human Beings. 107.39 states that no person may operate a small unmanned aircraft over a human being unless a, that human being is directly participating in the operation of the small unmanned aircraft. B, that human being is located under a covered structure or inside a stationary vehicle that can provide reasonable protection from a falling small unmanned aircraft. Or C, the operation meets the requirements of at least one of the operational categories specified in subpart D of this part. As mentioned in a previous video, the preamble to part 107 specifically defines direct participant as specific personnel that the remote pilot in command has deemed to be involved with the flight operation. These include the pilot in command, the person operating the controls, and the visual observer. This can also include any person who's necessary for the safety of the operation. For example, someone who's keeping a perimeter clear. So if a person's not part of the operation, you cannot fly your drone over them, unless that person is under a covered structure or in a vehicle that's not moving. And the structure or vehicle can provide reasonable protection from a falling drone. However, if your operation meets the requirements of category one, two, three, or four under subpart D, you might be able to legally fly over people. The issue here is that Category two, three, and four operations require that you have a drone that is on the FAA's declaration of compliance list for the appropriate category. And the Ag Eagle EBX is the only drone that has been accepted as a category three drone. There are no drones approved under category two or four, and most of the drones that qualify under category one are very small, mostly FPV type drones. Fortunately though, the FAA just recently revised the waiver requirements for operations over people and moving vehicles. Utilizing the FAA's drone zone website, you can apply for an operational waiver and almost certainly get approval to operate over people. In other words, deviate from part 107.39 if you use a drone that is 399 grams or 0.88 pounds or less and that's including the required prop guards and a collision light during daylight also, and a remote ID module if you need it. If your drone weighs more than 399 grams, but not more than 1588 grams, or three and a half pounds, you can still get a waiver, but you also have to have an ASTM certified parachute recovery system. So can you fly your drone over people? Yes, if and that's if you use a drone that's less than 250 grams, including the required prop guards, and that's a category one drone, or if your drone is 399 grams or less, including the required prop guards and a collision light and a remote ID module if it's needed, and you obtain an operational waiver, or if you're using an Ag Eagle EBX drone, or if the people are under a covered structure, or in a, inside a stationary vehicle, or if the people are part of your operation. Now your pro tip is, unless you have a drone that's less than 250 grams, including prop guards, it's probably worthwhile to pursue an operational waiver through the FAA's Drone Zone website, if you're planning to fly over people. With the FAA's revised waiver requirements, it's easier now than ever to, be, to obtain a waiver for operations over people especially if you have a smaller drone like the DJI Mini Series or the Autel Nano Series. These drones should meet the sub 399 gram requirements with no problem with the required equipment. 
Let us know in the comments if you have a can I fly my drone question so that we can cover it in a future video. Also, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and hit the subscribe and notification buttons to be notified of upcoming content. Thanks for watching and from all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you soon.